here at Cannonall Farm, we've been waiting with bated breath for a very special new arrival. And finally, after weeks of waiting and endless sleepless nights for Farmer Ruth, Ruby the Shire Horse has given birth to a beautiful baby foal. Hi guys, Farmer Ruth here from Cannonall Farm. Exciting news guys, the moment has finally arrived. We have a foal. So half past three this morning, this little boy uh, entered the world. Um, pleased to say everything went well. Um, she had it herself, it's fed, as you can see, it's up on its feet, it's really, really strong. So that's the end of three weeks of waiting, three weeks of being up through the night watching and watching cameras. Um, but now we've got to do it all again for Orchid. When we left last night, um, she was looking a, a little bit uncomfortable, but there was no wax, so there was no telltale, yes, she's going to have it. But she was very, um, shall we say, uncomfortable. Um, she was pacing a pen a little bit, well, right, okay. We thought, well, there's no wax, so perhaps not tonight. Um, later that evening, I had a phone call off Roger uh, saying that um, she was looking very uncomfortable and she'd altered slightly. Um, and then not long after that, I got a message off Philip to say that she'd actually made some wax. So I was like, right, fantastic. Now we know from last time when she made the wax on the end of the teats, when that appeared, that she wasn't very long falling afterwards. So again, Ruth got the camera out to watch the CCTV and I was watching and then I must have fallen to sleep because the next thing I know, I got Philip ringing me saying that she'd got a water bag out. In the meantime of me getting dressed, getting in the car and getting here, she'd had the fall, which is fantastic because that's what we want. We wanted to have it ourselves. We don't want any, any interference. Um, so yeah, it's been, a, like I said, it's been a long way to wait coming, uh, but he's finally here. So it's really, really exciting. Ruby's had plenty of falls before. So she is a really, really good mum. She uh, straight away, very attentive to him, cleaned him up straight away. Um, and then it was, he, would, he tried to make a few steps, but he was getting very tired. So we took the decision to milk her out, milk, uh, milk Ruby out a little bit and put it into a bottle and put him, obviously let him suck on that bottle. As soon as he got that, that first milk, that colostrum into his belly, he was up and he was away. We did support him a little bit. Hello, sweetheart. We did support him a little bit um, while he got that first milk, but Roger pushed his head underneath and he got straight on the teat and we haven't looked back since. We know that Farmer Rob is very, very keen on having a grey foal. Now, from the clips you can see, where it does look grey, uh, but we all know that foals can change colour. So watch this space, we, it may stop grey, it may not. Um, I'm sure Rob will make his mind up as soon as he gets back, uh, which hopefully shouldn't be very, very long. He does know it's here. I did message him last night as soon as he arrived to say, look, look what we've got. Um, so and the first question, one of the first questions he said was, one, is it okay? And two, what colour is it? So uh, yeah, we'll see what he thinks when he gets back. So all in all, a really, really good result. Um, we've got a fall on the floor that's happy, that's healthy, uh, that started feeding well. We've mum that's fully, uh, that's fully up to the task and is looking after a little, fo little man very, very well. So yeah, very, very positive outcome. We've got a fall on the floor now from Ruby. We've still got Orchid left, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got a few weeks respite so we can catch up on some sleep. But then again, we have all the rest of the roundhouse to start lambing. So we'll have to see on that one. I think there's going to be a lot of tired faces up here. So then guys, I'm going to leave it there. And um, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on this young man uh, and you'll see him grow and develop and we'll keep you up, fully updated. So if you like this video, like and share, and I'll see you soon guys. Bye.